Hello everyone, this is your math teacher Wei Yun, and today we are going to be talking about nets. No, not these nets, but these nets. Nets are P6 mathematics topic. So, first of all, what are nets? A net is what a 3D shape will look like if it was unfolded. You can draw and fold nets to make 3D shapes, like these, a cube, and after going some Harry Potter magic, it turns into this. This is a net of a cube. So these are more examples of nets. These are a cone, a cylinder, and these are some more nets which I sadly couldn't find the 3D equivalent of. So, can a 3D solid have more than one net? Yes, an example is the cube, which by itself has 11 nets. 11! Another example is the pyramid with three possible nets. So, do you see this colossal looking object here? Did you know the rhombicosidodecahedron has 120 sides and the net looks like this? Amazing, right? That looks crazy. So, now types of questions. So, they'll normally they'll give you a figure with four types of nets. So, they'll ask, which one of the following figure is a net of a prism? Guys, no worries if you don't know how to solve. So, this is how to solve. Firstly, you take a red triangle, which is that side of the prism. And then you put it onto all the triangle, onto some of the red triangles, like so. Next, you take the blue one that side and convert it into some of the rectangles so the ones that look like these are the answer is b for your information if you do not know how to solve just ask your math teacher or try to think out of the box it's possible because it's very hard to imagine by just looking at the screen so please seek help from your parents or guardians or your teachers. Good luck! So, let's recap. Nets, not these nets. Nets are a 3D shape would look like if it were unfolded. You can draw and fold nets to make 3D shapes. Ba boom So these are more examples of nets. I'm gonna speed through this. Blah, blah, blah. And try to read this out loud out of your friends. I bet you can't do it. So, of course, these are the types of questions. And I've already told you how to solve. And, yeah, good luck. So... Thanks for listening to my presentation, and I hope you have learned something from this video. And remember, subscribe to King Wei Yun.